Yo, what's happening, Bubba? What's going on, man? How you doing today? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? I feel good, man. I feel good. Yeah, man. We are. We on about well, episode maybe number three. You know for, yeah, for this is three. Yeah, for yeah, this is three. For uh, GG Sports Talk, and um, got another guest, man. This this is uh, you know, this is a little different. Um, Sam, Sam, you know, well, yeah, just a, just a little different, young man. Mm-hmm. But around here, man, you gotta. Gotta, hey, gotta introduce yourself around here. Tell man. the world who you are. Yo, 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 this is Josh Shaw from Hand in Hand. Hand in Hand. The big city of Hand in Hand. That's what's up, man. Yes, sir. So I was on um I was on Twitter and I was um we was getting ready for the podcast. So what I was doing was um I was looking for some young talent. Just one guy just stood out to me. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I look nice. Let me look at let me look at some film, you know. So um as I'm looking at film and looking at some stuff about him. I saw he was um, about to announce what college he was going to. So, you know, mm-hmm. I said, definitely, this is somebody I want to talk to. Coming up from the low country and representing hand in hand, I thought it had been different to have somebody who's not from North Charleston, per se. So tell us about yourself. Um, yeah, as y'all know, I'm Josh Shaw. Grew up in hand in hand, South Carolina, basically my whole life. And, um, you know, I'm here for football. And I've the passion I have for it is it's out of this world. I started playing probably when I was around four, flag football. And my parents can tell you all about it, man. I was running that field back and forth so, the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what flag football league did you play for? I played, ooh, it, it was probably a hand-in-hand community. I d- probably didn't know, like, the team, can't remember the team name, but it was just local kids. I grew up around the neighborhood gotcha. and stuff like that. Okay, okay. Because, you know, in, in North Charleston, you know, we got the uh, the local teams that's like the Raiders yeah, yeah, and yeah. Patriots. So we got like a little. Yeah. In state, in city rivalry, mm-hmm. so I never heard of um, hand in hand, but there are some people from hand in hand who play. You know? yeah. So it's like it depends on you know, who you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. When um when you got into sports, you started playing. Who who did you look up to? Who did I look up to? All right, that's a good one right there. For football, um, you know, I always used to talk to my dad. Mm-hmm. He um he grew up in Alvin, South Carolina, and played at Macedonia. I think he said he played about like. One year in uh, his high school career, because his parents really want to let him. Okay. Cause he was all scared of him getting hurt. Mm. But he grew up to play um, semi pro, mm. and it was pretty good with that too. He was I, like, he was pretty good. I don't know if I got his stats right now, but he was like five seven, five seven hundred. How many pounds? One hundred sixty pounds, running fools over like it was oh, nothing. Oh, pops man. a legend. Okay, Come okay. On, man. Yeah, they'll be back for the interview. Okay, I like mm-hmm. that. Yes, sir. We and, um, relive them girly days. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> but um, growing up, like growing up further and getting to more of this football stuff, I really looked up to them big old power backs in the NFL, like Bo Jackson, Walter Payton, Herschel Walker, all that. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So, anybody um locally that you kind of kept Local. your eye on? Marcus Lattimore. Marcus Lattimore. Lattimore. Mm-hmm. Okay. He was a real. He stood out. Right, 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 right. That's what's up. Okay, okay. So. One thing that we talk about is we we give people their flowers. So um, your support system. Tell us what your support system means to you. My support system. How they help you get to where you're at now. The main, my main people in my support system is my immediate family, my mother, Bridget Shaw, my father, Kenneth Shaw, and my older sister, Kayla Shaw. They've been through it, through, through thick and thin from the start. And I got them just like how they got me. And it's, it's I can't ask for any more. Can't ask for any perfect, more. perfect. Then I got the city behind me, yeah. showing up that motivation. It's it's amazing. That's so sad. So you went to hand in hand. Yes, sir. Um, and position you play is running back. I'm, yes, sir. I'm what I'm here. Okay, running all right. back and um, I played defensive end my last two years. Okay, all right. So which position you like the best? Oh, running back for sure. Running back. I I had a few sacks at defensive end. It was pretty fun now because right. they wouldn't they wasn't expect like you know I'm going against like six seven right. 200, 300 pound offensive right. lineman, right. and I, you know me, I'm 5'10", 180, 180 pounds at the time. They ain't expecting me to do nothing, but right. I was getting around them, making right. them sacks and stuff. But that's what's up. Running back for sure. That's that's a prime position. How how would you um, uh, explain your playing style? You uh, playing style, um, more like freshman through sophomore year. I would consider myself like more of a power back, like maybe rarely made like one cut. I'm just like straight lowering shoulders and stuff. <laughs> 
But then again, um, starting my junior year, my um, senior year, I started getting more agile, and being able to make more cuts, moves, spin moves, jukes. But I can still lay that shoulder down, no, right, no doubt, right, no right, doubt. Right. But I started becoming more balanced with myself then. Okay. I'm going to tell you this. When I was watching your film, I saw, I see exactly what you just said. Like at first, it's like you just hit the hole, but the, your senior year is more of a kind of like that Le'Veon spell type. Mm -hmm. yeah, Let me yeah. read the blocks first. I was, so I saw that in your game. I wanted to know. That's why I say I say Le'Veon Bell. Yes, okay. So who, who do you think, if you had to compare your style to a player in the NFL, who would you compare it to? It would probably be Le'Veon Bell. Um, if I could hurdle now, it's illegal. I think it's illegal in South Carolina now. <laughs> but if I could hurdle now, I, 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 I'll show you what these bunnies do. But <laughs> maybe Saquon Barkley, something like that. Kareem Hunt. I like yes. that. I like Kareem that. I like Hunt. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go with Kareem Hunt, Saquon. Yeah. You know. <laughs> you know, I'll be doing that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, if, if you gonna say Le'Veon Bell, you gotta reach your hands, man. How one to ten with them hands at? Them hands, yeesh. um, it's it's getting better. It definitely got better from my sophomore year, but okay. um, that's something you're working. Yes, on. sir. But the offense we run, we started to run. You know, um, our former coach. He had um, resigned, and okay. so we got the old Timberland coach, Coach Art, okay. Art Craig. Okay, okay. And his offense, he runs that wishbone um, mm. wing back and a yeah. fullback. That's straight run, straight, straight run. run. Yeah. But there are some passes, some pass plays in there. But my senior year, they like they only threw me the ball three times, and I caught the ball two times. Most of that. other than that, you know, we just straight running. Okay, right. okay. So when you talk about uh, college, your, your college coach, um, who? And who from the coaching staff from hand to hand helped you push your game and excel to the next level? Ooh, most definitely, most definitely, Coach Craig, okay, and Coach Blanchard, the strength and conditioning coach. Okay, those two right there, they they changed the game for me a lot, a lot. Like it, words can't describe how grateful I am for them two right there. That's big. That's mm -hmm. big. Right. Um. So from what I heard, you said uh, your hands is what you're working on. You got anything else you're working on? Um. It's probably. Probably speed, probably speed. Like yeah, um, you know they got me put on a few extra pounds right. for this college ball, and um, I'm still got to work on the speed though, cause it's like I was running track, yeah. and um, you know I'm doing that four by one. And right. Last year, like, like last year I was running like 185 pounds. I like I was winning you know, like 185. This year I'm like 203. You can feel the yeah, difference. I can feel the difference, but yeah. I'm getting back. I'm getting back to no doubt, no doubt. Right. But How long like, you been running track? I've been running track. Ooh, I've been running track when I was little, when I was little. But like I was just out there just for fun. I was doing club track. Um, what the team was called Mercury Rising. Okay. And um, the coach, the coach, Coach Waring, Coach Waring, he had a uh, a few kids my age as well. Right. And yeah, they moved. I think they moved to Cali. I think they moved to Cali. And um, yeah, there was it, that was pretty fun. But then I picked it up. I started doing it again my f freshman year. And then I was just a regular sprinter until about my junior year. I joined the four by one team and started throwing as well. Okay, you said throwing shot put. Shot okay, put, yes. all right, yeah. Um, is that something you're going to continue at state, or are you just going to focus on football? That I, I think I'm going to just focus on football. But yeah. even if I could, I don't think they would because like I'm on scholarship and also yeah, I don't okay. even know if it's, they, it's certain schools that will allow. I don't yeah. know if state is one of them, yeah. but some certain schools will. Okay. Okay, so I was, you mentioned state. What all schools reached out to you for recruiting? Um, so the end of my junior year, I started getting looks at by the Citadel, um, North Greenville University, and Newberry. Mm -hmm. And um, Newberry, um, Newberry and Citadel, those were the main ones. They really gave me the unofficial offer to come play for them that summer going into my senior year. And NGU was still, um, still trying to work with me. And then... After that, after I realized I started getting looks, um, I started, it's time to put on the judges, time to go, time to go this senior year. <laughs> and after that, I ended up um, with an offer from Newberry, an offer from Benedict, um, University of Fort Lauderdale, mm. South Carolina State as well, um, Limestone, and ooh, Fro Frostburg, they, they kind of gave me an unofficial one. And dang, I think it's this Juco College in um, Kansas City, I, I can't think of the name. That's big, Kansas City. That's big. Though. That's big. That's big. So, I, that was my leading. I was leading into this question: What made you choose state? Like, because one thing we want to talk about is HBCUs and recruiting recruiting younger men 
from the North Charleston area because the last two guests we had on, you know, they said State didn't even look at them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what made you pick State? So really what made me pick State, I went on that visit. I went on that visit, the official visit they brought me to, and as soon as I stepped on campus, I automatically felt like family, like the way they (laughs) brought me in, the way their players brought brought us in. We first time meeting each other. Right. Of course, they saw me on Twitter and stuff. When I posted my commitment, looked at my film and stuff, and started hitting me up. Like, like it just felt like family from out there. Talked to all the coaching staff. Coach Goddard, Coach Goddard, he's going to bring you in like family. That, that was crazy. That, that's I your what, running back coach? No, no, no. That's the O-line coach, the okay. running back coach as well. He's going to bring you in too. His name, um, Coach Edmonds. Coach okay. Edmonds. Just, uh, that, first time I seen him, no boy. Towering over me like I'm like them boys is tall. Yeah. Them boys is tall, but yeah, they really brought me in. And then also talking to Coach Pugh and seeing how how good of a man he is. Right. And then they gotcha. said they put me on full scholarship, and so no other school was like topping that type of offer. So I was just right. like, I think I think I found my home right here. Yeah. So we we just saw State win the the championship, mm-hmm. the Miak and Sweat versus the Miak versus yeah. Sweat. Mm-hmm. So. How many players you got in front? You know how many players you got in front of you? I know one. I know of a running back. He came. He, tra- he I think he said he transferred from Wake Forest. Okay. And I think there might have been like a couple more running backs right. in there, but some of them, been, I think like two or three of them, been injured. Right. So I don't know how they're doing right now, but. So you re- you ready to compete? That's what I'm here for. I know that. That's what I'm like here that. for. I like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even though we ain't that South Carolina, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready to go, man. No, man. Um, That's good, though. That's good. Right. So I think my, my next question is, uh, what's your mentality right now? Right now? Mm. What's your mentality right now as far as, you know, you're going, you're going to state, you're going away from home, you got to balance that time, you got football, you got class? Um. So basically, right now, senior year, we only got a couple months left till we graduate. Yeah. Ready to get this thing over with, you yeah. know. We're ready to get this thing. I mean, I'm eager. I'm eager to get up there in yeah. um, Orangeburg. Right. And right now, I'm just staying in that weight room, yeah. playing it safe, right. getting these grades right. Um, okay. just staying out the way. Um, yeah. out of any possible trouble I can and right. stuff. Yeah. But yeah. Um. So speaking of grades, what you going to school to study? I would like to study forensic science in the ballistics field. That, okay. I really. That really gets me. I, I like that stuff right there. What about it? You like? Um, so I took this forensic science class with my um, with Miss Churchill, Miss Churchill at Hand in Hand. That's that's a good lady right there. But the whole class, we learned about everything like um, ballistics, um, toxicology, um, like blood, dental work, mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And it like the whole class is intrigued me. All the labs we did and stuff like that, and all the um forensic files we watched and stuff it, it was it, I don't know what about it but it just right. drew me okay, to okay, it. okay okay and then also I'm if the, I might minor I might minor in television because we do have a television program back at the school too Word, that's and so. I was pretty good at um I was good at the camera too but I think I was more like more like a, a reporter or like yeah yeah you that's know, a sports right. anchor or something like that yes, okay 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 yeah, yeah um I had a question, right? You were you were at hand in hand when when people from Huji was going in, the kids from Huji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, all of them went to Philip Simmons. Yeah. So I was I say I was probably like seventh or eighth grade. Yeah. And it wasn't like ninth grade. Right. Um. And yeah, we were all on the same JV team yeah. and stuff like that. It was a bunch. It was a bunch of them boys. Yeah. Especially um, I know some off the top of my head. Right. My dog, Kev Low. <laughs> Yeah, Kev Kev what's happening, that's, Kev Lowe? That's that boy right there. Now. <laughs> that's that boy right there. He living life pretty good right now. Um, right. That's the main one. He um, what what he, he played football? He did after he graduated. Um, he just took his own path, you know. Okay. Like, yes, tenfold, tenfold. We still we still keep in touch and all. Right. That's that's my main dog right there. There's a bunch of them. Yeah. yeah. Did you notice a Did you notice a difference after they left? Oh yeah, most definitely. Right. Most definitely. Yeah. Right. Did y'all play them? Philip Simmons? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah. We didn't play them this year because they dropped down to um, 2A, and we're still 3A, but we're dropping down to 2A as well th- yeah. after I leave. But we played them my sophomore, junior, and senior year. We um we beat them my junior year, and I scored one time, but I broke my ankle. Mm. I broke my ankle that, that year, too. And um, 
in that game too. Wow. And then, but this year, this year we balled out, and it was, I ain't gonna lie, we put up. It was a good fight that game. We played them home. That was a good fight, but we ended up taking the dub. I forgot the score, but we we ended up. So would y'all consider that a rivalry now? Ooh, we consider that a rivalry back back in sophomore year. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> we consider that. Yeah. But after junior year, I think. I think we done squashed it after that. <laughs> so they got to they gotta hit back now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, so you mentioned your ankle, man. Yeah. Um, so how was that? How was that? I'm like, going to tell you what happened. All right, so it was after I scored my touchdown, um, Coach Ram had me running like, we was running from like 20 yard out and 20 yard line and out. And it was some just straight up the nose, bull play. I'm getting through. And then I don't know. What off or uh, defensive lineman? He just grabbed me by the waist and just like put his whole body weight on my legs and mm. just ah. One of those spinning tackles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Just, ah, and then I, I was like, oh man, I was on the ground. My other running back was like, three, four, you all right? And I was like, oh man, I got up, started limping to the sideline, limping to the sideline, and all the coaches, athletic trainers, players, like, get down, stay on the ground, and I'm out over dramatic. So I just do like a somersault on the ground <laughs> and man. <laughs> Whole crowd's like, oh my gosh, what just happened? I was like, it's only get down, right? But um, yeah, it, it f all the adrenaline came um was in yeah. me. Mm-hmm. I didn't really feel it, but like when I tried to put pressure on it, yeah, I felt it. Right. Um, when I got back um home after that, they had um everybody. It, I I was still on the bus. I was excited because we got the dub, but I was still in pain. Yeah. I got back. The um, athletic trainer had to put me in the boot. I was in that for about two weeks. Cause we we made the first round playoffs, and I was in that about two weeks, and I really I really wanted to play broken ankle or not, I really wanted to play, and um, I shouldn't I, I honestly I don't think I should have, but bump it I I did it my junior year I still played, and um, the first round playoffs against Dylan with that broken ankle. And, oh, he has here, Thomas. That's uh, who he is. <laughs> I had to <laughs> mess up foot. No, he's still gonna play. Yeah. You got to be careful with that. Yeah. You know, first. Mm. So, I'm going to ask you this. Who at Hand in Hand was the first person that really, like, challenged you as a player? You know, somebody who catch you coming through the hole, hit you like, oh, okay, this got to gotta man up. Got to step the game up. My dog, Alex Harriet. He right now, he's playing ball at um, Presbyterian College. Okay, shout, out, shout out to Alex. Mm-hmm. That that joker right there, boy. He I seen him. Um, we, we grew up together as well as from the, in the community. And um, when he went up to varsity, I saw he was playing middle linebacker with the big boys, and he played center as well. And so when I bumped up the sophomore year, he, I think he stayed, like, um, middle linebacker and, like, defensive line, but mainly middle linebacker. And so, like, I played with him as well, mm-hmm. middle linebacker, but when it was time to switch over to offensive side, he stayed there, and it was you, just me and yeah, him. Gotcha. And we just, we just been bumping heads sophomore and junior year all throughout, and – yeah, we challenge each other. We push each other to the limits, especially in wrestling too. Like I, he's one of the reasons why I won this big, this fat ring right here. Yeah, okay, I okay, see. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you wrestle as well. Uh huh. Okay. Um, how did you get into that? Sophomore year, coach was like, "You should try wrestling. You should try wrestling this mm-hmm. year. It's gonna get you conditioned." I was just like, ah, "All right, I don't like no touching up on boys and <laughs> like that." But like, I was like, "I'll give it a shot." Sophomore year, um, I went to state. I didn't win though, but his first year I ever went to state, it was amazing. And then junior year, um, I went undefeated, twenty one wins, zero losses, and for my final state match, I pinned the dude in fifty eight seconds. So, we talk about football, mm-hmm. talk about wrestling, talk about track. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been interested in any other sports or just those? Because talking to you is like. Your main thing is football, yeah. but you would do any other thing. Or I stay in condition. Right. But I don't really, you know, and mm-hmm. I just and you just happen to be good at it. Yeah. You know, you're a natural athlete. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Most yeah. One thing I wish I stick with baseball. was um yeah yeah <laughs> baseball. Mm-hmm. Baseball. I wish I stick with it. I played that um, when I was little. Probably I think I stopped around like ten. Um, I was pretty good. You guys, my pops. I was I was pretty good. Yeah. People around the neighborhood too. I was pretty good, but um. The thing was, I, it's my boy too. It's the kicker that's going with me to um, SC State with me. Okay, I, I saw that. I, yeah, I saw it. I tell it straight to his face all the time. His dad, <laughs> his dad was the coach, head football, uh, head baseball coach of that team. His dad was the head baseball coach of that team, and it was the end of the season. It was time to pick who's on, all going to make it on the All Star team. Yeah, Uh-oh. I, I tell it to his face yeah. every day. 
Let's talk his about dad, it. his dad picked his picked his son, picked my dog Blake. And that's what it is. And there was no more spots left. I tell it to him straight to his face. <laughs> now you know <laughs> you was not that good to be on that all star team. You know. And he admits it. He yeah, no, I was we, we can have him on there too, yeah, so, yeah. so he can uh, defend himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. But um yeah, after that I just I just said put down the gloves, put down the bats and stuff like that. But yeah, I just put everything down after that one. One more, one more question. Mm-hmm. One more question I got before I walk off real quick. Coming back from your injury, how was that? How did that play on your your um your psyche? Mm. Coming back after that. I'll hit back. All right, coming back after that, I feel like I feel like everybody was on they was expecting something. Mm-hmm. Everybody was gonna expect something no matter if it was bad or good. But I knew what I was expecting coming off this injury and it was just so people People of Charleston, state of South Carolina, who who I am, yeah, and what I'm what I'm in, um, in the making of doing, and I think they got the memo this year. But um, yeah, it it was rough. It, it it started messing with me my junior year of wrestling, and um, just the beginning of it though. And then it started to finally heal up after that. And after that, it's just go time. I felt it felt better. I felt great. Okay, okay. Felt better than I did my junior year. Okay, so. My next question to you is this. Okay, I'm a big Kobe Bryant fan, you know, and um, Kobe Bryant is one of those guys, you know, he talks about uh, the journey, you know, going through it, the obstacles, the ups and the downs. Who is somebody, it don't, it don't even got to be a celebrity, but who is somebody to help you through that adversity, like a motivational speaker or somebody you listen to? Mm. Yeah, that's good questions now. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I was expecting that one. I remember I was watching some motivational, like, Know, like on Instagram and TikToks, uh, some of them were Kobe Bryant. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, some of them were that. But other than that, it, he's not really like a celeb. Probably, probably my pops. Pop, pops is a celebrity. My, pops is a celebrity. <laughs> my pops, he, he was the main one I, I went to go talk to if I if I needed that, that extra oomph. Okay. But other than that, it was all just mental. It was all just mental going through it myself and stuff. I got you, man. I got you. Okay, so. What's um? Do you have a favorite NFL team? Favorite, yeah, Panthers, Panthers. Oh man, see, I knew I liked you. Yeah. I knew I liked you. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, let's see. This just makes the. That's a Buccaneer fan. So we, I'm gonna ask you that question again, just so you know. <laughs> but um, that's another person. Um, and it fits now yeah. because you're passionate, and I can tell like you're somebody with drive and hunger. Mm-hmm. And that's Steve Smith. That's somebody I look mm-hmm. at. That is that. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's what's sure. up. Let's see. And he, oh man, I can't believe he was. That's what's <laughs> up. So, um, my next question is this: You talk about forensic. You talk about um. Oh, never mind. So, uh, yeah. Well, who's your, who's your favorite NFL team? Like, who inspired you? <laughs> well, it really inspired me when I was probably like just a little, little, um, little kid watching in front of the TV. Well, hold on. What, what, <laughs> My fa- probably my favorite NFL team, Cam Newton and them Panthers now. <laughs> no Cam. <laughs> that's 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 why he ran the back like that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Man, well, I'm a Tampa Bay fan. I know. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you got to he, get up out of here. With yeah, that this one. man, he, he's good. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, you, I just wanted you to hear that. But um, <laughs> my next question was for you. Um, you talk about forensics. I'm not saying it won't work out, mm-hmm. but you know our thing is football isn't everything. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So let's say you what what kind of career would you try? If for like if football don't work yeah. out, um, hopefully I can take my forensic abilities to the next level. Um, no matter if it's working for the police force or mm-hmm. working like in a lab or something. Okay, like okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that, I think that would be the next question. How does, how would that degree translate to the real world? Mm-hmm. Um, and that one does, so that's a good. Because yeah. mm-hmm. some people go to school for dance, and they, you know, mm-hmm. they, they're hairstylists. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So. Um, for a backup, for a backup plan, just in case, just in case, right? Like forensics ain't working. I already told y'all, television mm-hmm. yeah. might give business a try. Might uh, like open up my own business, become an entrepreneur, and okay. stuff like that. But I think I might be able to do something in, like, the news field, like sports broadcast and stuff okay. like that and all that. Mm-hmm. Okay. My next question to you is this. <clears throat> we like to talk about financial literacy because we want the young men to understand that 
credit is important. Mm-hmm. You know, um, taking care of your financials is important, and you mm-hmm. have a full ride. So yes, that's amazing. Yes, sir. But um, who teaches you about financial literacy? Like oh. uh, your parents. My parents, yes, uh, sir. You got amazing parents. They're, Just want to say that they're big on that. My parents, my mom's best friend, they're big on that. They're if I make it big in this um um this football stuff, make it to the NFL. My manager's right there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's good. That's good. Because no, actually, um, I was watching an interview with Jason Tatum, mm-hmm. and he was saying um, his mom, his mom, she does something in business, but she has a setup where he lives off of his uh, endorsements. Yeah, yeah. And he, he doesn't even touch his um, NBA checks. Yeah. So that stuff like that is a, like good information to pass down mm-hmm. to the next person. But um, have you ever thought about how you're going to market yourself? When you get to college, because now you got the NIL deals and people getting paid now. Like I said, Del Monte, I to mention you him earlier, he was telling us about he had a Barty Elmer deal mm-hmm. in UConn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got you got things like that. So how do you plan on marketing yourself that, to these um, businesses? Still working on that. Um, okay. I'm going. My it, yeah, it's still it's. I'm still going. I still got love from my parents now and all that. Mm-hmm. But you know, stay on social media. Stay big on social media. Um, Twitter, Instagram. It, Maybe even take talk and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, most definitely. Uh huh. But um, I I know a couple of my homeboys. They they got um in college. They run track. I think Spartanburg Methodist. I think, and okay. they got a body armor deal as well. And I'm trying to trying okay, to get okay, put okay. on. Yeah. Uh, um. So we asked we uh we asked state right. So what type of offense they run at state? I think they um they run a spread spread set. Mm-hmm. So like um so just like one quarterback. One um, running back. Running back. Yeah. Okay. And stuff like that. Number 34. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's going to be your number? No, no. That was the uh, that was, that a, was the guy who yeah. was at State. I was remembering his mm-hmm. number when I was watching him. I got you. That's um, what, what's your number going to be at State? They said they might be able to work that out, 34 for me. I hope they do because I, I love what, that. What's number. the significant behind 34? It don't Power backs in the NFL, like, you know, like I said, Walter Payton, Bo Jackson, all them boys right there. So that hold on now, that's before that's before my time. Mm-hmm. What you know about Walter Payton and Bo Jackson? He was that's taught a, well. He was taught. Uh, <laughs> that's all he I used to well. watch right there. That's all I, I'm talking about. And Madden, my, my my ultimate team right there. I got um, I got Bo Jackson like 99 over. Like he's just yeah. running over. He's running over all the defenses. Like it's it's crazy. Right. Mm-hmm. Um. So. For as far as your game, how's your pass blocking? Pass blocking? Yeah. Um, I didn't really have to do that. Right. Back in um in high school. In high school. Yeah. I still did that sometimes. Um, especially in that north south game. Okay. That north south game. I'm pretty good at that. Um, not afraid to go up and yeah. stick a stick your nose in there. Stick a nose in there. Yeah. Stick a six four defensive yeah. end or something like that. I I'll put my I'll to get I'll put it on the line to get that pass off. Man. Right. Mm-hmm. How was the north south the north and south game for you? That was a, that was an experience. That was a real good experience. The game itself, it was it was amazing. Getting to play with all those boys um, right. around the low, con- getting to play with all the boys around the low country and stuff right. against the um, North team, and it was it was awesome. It was awesome. South side all day. All yeah, day. Okay, okay. <laughs> South took it home. Y'all won. South took it home. Yes, okay, sir. who was the MVP? MVP, um, my dog Carlton Terry. Uh, I think he's from Conway. Okay, yeah, he's from Conway, and he got offensive, defensive. I forgot. I think my boy in Camden, um, a linebacker. I, I forgot. I forgot his name. It's all good. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, it was awesome. They fed us well. They fed us well that whole week. It, it was amazing. Y'all was in Charlotte or? Oh no, no, we was in um Myrtle Beach. We was in Myrtle Beach. Myrtle yeah. Beach. Okay. Yeah, it was good. It was all good. The only thing, the only thing I wish they didn't make us do was wear the same jumpsuit every day, back to back. Yeah, we. Like, I mean, we could wash and all that, yeah. but we couldn't. We, was, we couldn't even wash the clothes now. Like we had to every time we couldn't be seen out the hotel room without the same sweatpants and jacket. Wow, yeah. I don't know. My, wow, why? Why? I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> Some type of market or something? Yeah, probably. But <laughs> they could at least let us wash the clothes now. Like, <laughs> no more superstition. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's what's up. Um, oh no. Do you get nervous before your games? Do I get nervous before my games? I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say nervous. I would say more just like anxious to get on the field and just let it all out. Um, that's mainly my juniors, um, senior year. Nervous, probably. Yeah, I'll probably get nervous around like freshman and sophomore year, but okay. I just built up that mentality starting in my junior year. Just okay. Really show them what I got. I know what I, I know what I'm capable of. Yeah. 
and I'm just trying to see if you can handle it. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So we talk about the HBCUs, and um, <clears throat> lately, um, Coach Prime Time he's brought a large light to the HBCU um, colleges, and um, we were talking about how that's going to help younger guys in the HBCU get noticed more for the NFL. What do you think about what he's done? He's most definitely, as you said, he's brought a, a huge spotlight to the HBCUs, and it's it's amazing what he's doing for us. It's amazing, but sorry, sorry we had to drop the drop no. him down like that. No, again. ain't no sorry. <laughs> no, they thought it was sweet. Yeah, yeah they, they thought it was sweet. Oh yeah, Prime go win it. Prime. <laughs> they thought they they Coach Pugh ain't, <laughs> right, ain't know what he was doing. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna we have got, to do it to him again this yeah, year too yes, now. Sir. But, Yes, sir. But yeah, he, he. Other than that, he has done a lot for us and putting us on the map. HBCU is on the map and stuff like that, and marketing us as like, yeah. What college are you most excited to play against? What co- oh, right now on the schedule, I think I saw U UCF, Gamecocks, A um, mm. and T, FAMU. Um, those are the main ones right now. Gotcha. I'm excited to, but Man. I'm I'm ready to play in the Gamecock Stadium. We're there. Yeah, we're there. So Man. I'm ready. I'm ready to play in there. Oh, yeah. I might have to step out there that day. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he a game mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll be out there that day. I'll be uh-huh. out there that day. So, um, my question to you is this. You talk about the different, different atmospheres and where you want to play at. Let me see. Is there any player in the college ranks as a running back that you look at and you say, okay, is there anybody in the college ranks that you feel that's like a top 10 running back in the HBCU that you can – I don't even want to say knock off, but like, what what is your goals for your uh, freshman year? Let me just say that. My freshman year, so I edit that out. I already <laughs> talked. I already talked. <laughs> yeah, what is your goals for your freshman year? I already talked to Coach Pew. He said, um, they're not going to redshirt me. Okay, so, okay, okay, that's uh, good. I'm gonna get playing time out the gate, so I still got to work for it though. Yeah. But, um, um, I don't know how much playing time I is I'm going to get, but that's all depending on how I'm going to work for it. Yeah. Um, really, really. I'm trying to touch the field, touch the field every quarter now. I'm trying to touch the field every quarter at least. Kick. I know there's a lot. There's the, there's that that depth chart is it's gotten way bigger. It's gotten way bigger. Yeah. Um. So I, at least, at least about a hundred yards a game. At least I'm trying to run it up now. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to run it up. Well, I say this, man. We we gonna be tuned in, man. Most definitely mm-hmm. to what you got going on in your campaign. Um. So you stay. You gonna stay on campus? Yeah, yeah. You got, freshmen's got to stay on campus, yeah. right? Yeah, I think, I freshman, think at yeah. state, I think at state, I think every all the, all the ball players, like no matter what grade you, are, I think you have to, I oh. think you got to stay on campus. Yeah. Okay. I don't think you can like move off of campus, but if I could, yeah, I probably would have like rent out an apartment, like off campus, but near right. close. Yeah. Close, right. Right. What's your? I know you say you're working on your speed. What's your forty time? Uh, my last forty time was my on um, the summer going in the. Senior year, mm-hmm. I ran at the Citadel. I ran a four point five five. Okay, as a as a player, what's uh how much how much uh tape do you watch? Um, mainly the tape that I watch is the opposing teams to get ready to see what I'm going up against. Um, sometimes I rewatch my film to see what I can like get better at, and then other than that, I watch college a, a lot of college highlights. Of running backs, like and on top of our like power five schools and stuff like that, right. see what they're doing, right. see what like I can add to my game. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> no man. So who, oh, my yeah, on, who, who are those top five guys? That's what I was trying to get oh, to earlier. It's it's some, like you know, like I get free time in my class. I just mm-hmm. talk, typing in top five running backs in college highlights, and it's like it's it's a bunch. It's a bunch of them at one time. I don't really be paying attention yeah. to the names okay, like okay, that, okay, okay. but like. I, I, like, because I was trying to think of like the top five running backs, and I figured Spencer would pop mm-hmm. up. Um, um, oh man, dang! I know a uh, Spiller, Spiller, Spiller. Might, that's Spiller what I, might pop yeah, up Sp- from uh, Texas A&M. Yeah, yeah. Texas A&M. It's a few of them. It's a couple of boy Cook from Georgia. Mm-hmm. Man, um, it's a um, it's a few of them. Running it's backs. It's a few is, of them. Speaking of that, running big, being a few running backs, are you? How do you feel about the running backs by committee? Phrase that, rephrase that, like, like, oh, wait, like, yeah. oh, like, okay, like, how do you feel about the uh, running backs by running back committee where mm-hmm. you have a you have a first down running back, a second down running oh. back, and then you oh, yeah, yeah, okay, 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 all right, yeah, I like, I like that, um, 
I like that deal. Normally, you don't see that a lot in high school mm. level. Yeah, yeah. But, like, in college, yeah. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. So, you know, I'm a, I say I'm more kind of on the power back side. Yeah. So, they might have me, like, a, as a third down running back or, like, get that extra one yard yeah, or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, or, so, okay, you see yourself as a third down back. Gotcha. Yeah. That's, that, that's what I'm seeing right now. Hopefully, I can make a change and stuff like that. But Yeah, I mean, but, yeah, that, that just comes with improving your game. and. Right. That's one thing I like to say. Like, I'm. I like to hear people say they know what their flaws is and they're working on them. Right. Some people say I don't got no flaws. I'm. I'm just that good. You know what I'm saying? It's, you can always improve. You can always get better. So that's good that you even acknowledge that. Most tough. Yeah. So you know, as a you know, as a fan and avid you know um, watcher of the game, you know, I like uh, you know, I I give them a hard time, but you know, uh, CMC, I give them a hard time. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be trying to kill my man over here. Got dang on Carolina running him to the ground, but he's versatile. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he can do it all. Most you know, he's fast. He can catch. He can, you know, he can run between the tackles and everything. Mm-hmm. You know, but, you know, but I think uh, even to what he said, running back by committee might be, you know, even best for the players. Yeah. So you don't take as much, you know, much Most pounding. You feel what I'm stuff, saying? Yeah. Um, so what I was getting at it, I believe it's better to be versatile. Mm-hmm. You know, you can. You can do everything, so mm-hmm. you can get the you know um, the most the most playing time, and then when it comes to the league, they can't really they can't really shortchange you. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like oh oh he can't do this. no no yeah. bro I can do everything. Mm-hmm. They love they love doing that. Right? Mm-hmm. right and and I really I was um I was on a live because I follow a guy on um, on YouTube, and they was talking about running backs, and I'm like hey man we you know he invite people to come on his live, so I'm like hey man we we, we can't follow this narrative. Like I hear people talk about running backs like aren't needed and like aren't needed and yeah. Yeah. man if you look you watch the Rams they ain't been doing all, they they weren't gaining a lot of uh, yards yeah but they were still running the ball they were mm-hmm. still trying to establish you look at the 49ers they run the ball mm-hmm. when when Tampa Bay when, when we won was because what running, running the, the ball, ball. Mm-hmm. so it's important to have a good running game to 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 be successful in the NFL yeah. you feel what I'm saying so once again that's what this whole this whole platform about changing the narrative, you feel what I'm saying, and, and that's what we gonna do on here. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna. Um, what, what Kwame Brown said: "Go along, get along, game." Yeah. This ain't that. Yeah. We gonna give the flowers to the running backs, cause we y'all need it. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. I love, I love, her. I love running backs. Mm-hmm. So I got a question for you, cause you know I talk to different people. Do you have a preference on turf or regular field? Because I know some people, they. Depending on the conditions, yeah, it's like they don't like getting tackled on that turf because that turf is fake and it feel like stone. All right, so check this. Um, you know, we ball. Hey, it don't matter what. I could be playing in the sand at the beach. We ball. We ball. Whatever. But um, if I had a preference, I love playing on the turf fields. I love playing on the turf fields, but grass, we just regular playing yeah. old grass. It's mm-hmm. I got that special place in my heart right there. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. You ever uh, played the weather? What's weather. the What's the coldest you ever played in the weather? You it was played? it was mean and cold. Uh, first round playoffs. It was about like thirty, twenty something degrees outside, and it was raining. It was terrible. It was oh, terrible. Yeah. We ended up winning that game too, though. It it was a pretty good game, but that that right there, <laughs> killed me, killed me. So when, when when you see rain, cold, you already know. All right, God dang, we about to run the ball about two hundred times. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that. so that's a love hate relationship. I know I'm getting the ball, but gosh, it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> but mm-hmm. no, that's actually good though because it's like once you get in the flow of the game, probably like a little in the middle of the first quarter, you all right. I'm yeah. warming up. I'm warming up now. Mm-hmm. Do you? Does that change how you dress? Because some people they they don't wear no shirts. Um. Regular games, like just a regular sunny cloudy yeah, day, yeah. I'm no shirt, just pads and jersey. Um, but if it's like if it's like real cold, but like yeah, if I see a weather app and it says like thirty, I'm putting on a long sleeve. Yeah, because some people don't like it because you know it gives a defender extra. Oh, uh, just Something grab onto your shirt, yeah. you know. Yeah. So that's why I asked that question. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's the hardest since we on weather? Hardest. Yeah. Hardest was probably hardest I ever played in was Brooklyn Casey scrimmage. We hosted. We hosted that. Man, it was so hard. I, I was dying. I was dying in that heat. I ended up scoring. Like, I ended up scoring. Like I think one one time at the end, they I ain't go like they cut us up in that yeah. scrimmage. They cut us up in that. Who scrimmage. was the team? Brooklyn Casey, and we played them in the second round. 
playoffs, and um, they up in Columbia. Columbia. Um, okay, I know I heard it before. They spanked us in that scrimmage, but that play, um, second round playoffs. Y'all got y'all licking back. Yeah, we got we didn't win, but yeah. they they wasn't they expecting us. Yeah, y'all feel they feel lost by one point, one point, and it you, was. You yeah. know, I always say, you know, as a fan, you know, watching football, watching basketball. Okay, somebody got to lose the game, mm-hmm. but don't get dragged. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna be hurt, my. Like, mm-hmm. What game was that? I was watching one game. Oh, it was uh Philly versus oh, the Nets. The Nets. See, you see how you remember that? How you <laughs> he, remember he a that? Philly fan. Yeah. So I, I was saving that argument for another debate. Don't I'm worry about it. That's like, how I remember. It. I'm yeah. like, bro, y'all gonna get trash. Don't get trash. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Be competitive at mm-hmm. all times. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah, man. Um. Yeah, man. You got any other questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I got one more because um, I wanted to circle back to this. Um, right. I was asking you about promoting yourself and uh, getting your name out there for the NIL deals and marketing yourself. Mm-hmm. You got a nickname. Yeah. On, what's your nickname? Tell people your nickname. Uh, it started. I didn't. It just started my junior year. Everybody just started calling me Turbo and stuff like that. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so. Back yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you can hear from the stands. Like we, we needed this like one big touchdown. Um, my junior, I forgot who it was against. And I just look in the studio section. Everybody's yelling Turbo, Turbo. And I was just like, Oh, it's not. They talking about me. <laughs> oh, they talking about me. And I, I, I don't know what team it was, but I, I got that touchdown. And after that, the murder she wrote, they just started calling right. me that. Terrible. That, mm-hmm. So, um, you know, I was we was watching. I was I was watching the combine. and We was talking about speed. And um, you say you was working on your speed, but mm-hmm. just because from as a player, from the player aspect, does does the forty time matter? The forty time matter. Does it matter? The foot, I I feel like it does. It really does. It shows you like how much like that. Yeah, I feel like it does. Okay. I feel like it does, but for me, for me, like you know, I, I run track. Like I'm not the fastest one out there. I'm not the fastest one. I have to tell everybody I'm football fast, not track fast. Right, like, right, yeah, right, I'm, right, I'm right. Good, I'm good with that breakaway yeah, speed. He, he got yeah. game speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's how I was getting. Yeah, he, yeah. He's the type that he can pull away from you. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. that's important though. That's that's you because you got a, you got a lot of guys who might run what well, four three four three, whatever, four, three might get on the field on the football stuff. field and, and it don't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's you know they can't get out the cuts. They can't make the moves and stuff like that. But that's you know being agile stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was getting at, man. That's what's up. Would I like to run a four three? Most definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. But yeah. Yeah. Um. Cause who was um, da, 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 um Keyshawn Vaughn. Keyshawn Vaughn. He um. I think he ran like a four five. Mm-hmm. He ran about that. And you know, um, I think he's still getting his foot in the NFL. Mm-hmm. But he did have had one play against Carolina, I believe. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. You know, it was a pretty long run. Yeah. You guys. <laughs> I mean, I got another question. That was a that was, <laughs> <laughs> that was I got another question. Did we finish? <laughs> go, go ahead. I was just rubbing that one. I just believe. <laughs> so, but no, we talk about getting you on the field, and um, you talk about being um able to be a every down back and being um somebody that the team can use use in different positions in different situations. Have you ever thought about kick return? Kick return. return? Kick return. Most definitely, I, I did that in high school as well. Um. I had some good. I had some good take backs. I I never took one back this year, mm-hmm. but I, it, it was it was pretty far. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I would think about doing it. Yeah, I would think if, if they right yeah. if they yeah. actually do it. But yeah. no, the, the reason I say that because that's what happens with a lot of the newer guys. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, yeah. you get on the team and it's like, okay, we want to get you more reps, so we're gonna throw you over here and let's see how you do with this too. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So just wonder if that's something you've thought about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. most definitely, most definitely. I I love to do kick return. Right. Okay. Yeah, anything to make an impact. Mm-hmm. That's Word. right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man. Cause not keep rep- rep- referencing the champs, but you know, um, we had Scotty Miller. He was he was covering. I think he was covering punts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was co- he had him covering punts towards the. I think he did. A, he had a, a good play in the um, in the playoffs. He recovered a he recovered a, a, a fumble or he caused a fumble. So yeah. yeah, by any means necessary, making that impact on the game. Mm-hmm. Cause you know most. Most fans kind of overlook special teams. Mm-hmm. But I, special teams, they be winning. Very important. They be, they're very, very important. important. They be winning them. games sometimes. They be winning the games. <laughs> Tell me about it. We, people only acknowledge it when it's, when it's not um, doing what it's supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like starting at the 40-yard line is way better than starting at the 5. and You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, 20. <laughs> mm-hmm. People don't see that part. 
Mm-hmm. I think uh, in the big games, that's when the special teams like really, really matter the most. Most definitely. You know, field position, mm-hmm. playing that game. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So if you can, if you can get on the field and maybe run, run one back, make a big tackle, mm-hmm. make a you know something flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I all because speaking of flash, I always hear you know skip. Skip always say this: that player doesn't flash off, flash on the screen. Yeah. Or even like a scout. Okay, I, I went to watch this guy film, but this guy kept flashing. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, any 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 room to flash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you're transitioning to college to ball, mm-hmm. and this is one of the things that I've noticed is the biggest difference for a lot of guys is switching from the college playbook to the in. I mean, well, to no, high sorry, school. high school playbook the to the college playbook. Have you started getting ready to? Um, Learn different terms, hand signals, and stuff like that. Yeah, um, so we on um, you know nation. This is nationwide app. It's called Huddle. That's basically for like all the high school um, mm-hmm. playbooks and like film and all that. And they just um, added me to. I, I can't think of the app, but I can pull it up on my phone if y'all need me to. They, it's um, they got all the film for South Carolina State. Like fall, they got fall camp. Okay. Spring training, in game like actual game training um plays. And it's against like all the teams they don't play it, and I don't, I don't picked up on some stuff. Okay, okay, because okay. that's very important. The faster that you can learn the playbook, mm-hmm. the fat. Oh, he good. Yeah, he know. Mm-hmm. You know what to do. Okay, put him in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that that's very important, man. Just want to make sure you know, st- studying the playbook is big. Yes, right? sir. People right. take that for granted. Mm-hmm. Right, man. Um, I don't. I, I think we kind of we kind of um covered there all the bases. What you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, man, we appreciate you, man, uh, for, you know, coming and sitting down with us. And, you know, we don't got a big name yet, not yet. Yeah. But, man, we definitely want to have you back after your first season. Most stuff, most stuff. So we yeah. can uh, we can talk about that. And now I got a reason to tune in, not only tune in, focus more yeah. on state. Maybe, you know, mm-hmm. you know, he mentioned something about going to Columbia. We come to Orangeburg, mm-hmm. come check you out. Yeah, man, man yeah, that ain't no problem, definitely. Yeah, man. Just going to always show up and support you. Right, man. But you know, uh, protect yourself at all times. Most of protect appreciate y'all having me. Appreciate Thank you, you big dog. Mm-hmm. Till next time, y'all boy. Run that back, Turbo. Hey.